everybody, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new. As you can tell, this is another snack crate video. And there we go, we have the nutrition facts already on the back. <laughs> like always, if you don't know what snack crate is, they are a subscription box that gets sent to you like every month and you get to try snacks and candies from different places all around the world. Super cool, love doing it, and I'm really ready to dive into this one. Sometimes on the label, it will say a word before my name, and this one says Swazdi. Swazdi, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Garrett looked it up and he got super, super excited about whatever country this is. So I have some high expectations today, and I have no idea what it is, although you know. <laughs> Bye, obviously. The title. So let's get into this. If you have any questions about Snack Crate, let me know. Let me know throughout this video what sounds the best to you, what you think you might like, and I'll have Snack Crate's website and stuff down below in case you want to check that out or my playlist where I put all my videos that I've done Snack Crate unboxings. Okay, let's go. Tape first. Hopefully, my high expectations aren't going to disappoint me. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh my gosh. I am so not disappointed. Thailand. Just watched a movie that was supposed to be in some island in Thailand. Oh, what was that movie called? The Death of Me? It's some scary movie. I don't know. That's so funny. Okay. Ah! I'm so excited to open this. Here we have the little sheet with all the fun candy and snacks on it. We got the chips, look at that, and the color, everything is so exciting. Gotta start out with the fun facts of Thailand, let's go. It is considered disrespectful to touch anyone on their head, even a child. It is illegal for men to drive shirtless in Thailand and can lead to tickets or even jail time. I gotta start out with one of these chips on top. They both look really cool. I don't know what they are, but this says, fried pumpkin. So I think I'm going to try this first. Menorah pumpkin chips. These chips have a light and airy texture that will keep you munching and crunching on their pumpkin-y goodness until the whole bag is gone. I do like pumpkin, so I have a good feeling about this. Mmm. Ooh, it smells. It does kind of have like a pumpkin seed smell. I don't know how to describe them. I mean, you can kind of tell by the picture, but they look a little puffy. Mmm. Oh, wow. I could definitely eat this whole bag, like they said. Super light, melt in your mouth. They're like puffy, like I said. And the taste is really, really good. Sweet, salty, pumpkin-y. Mmm. What is this? Tay K Noi Big Roll. You don't have to be a green sea turtle to enjoy the nutritious snack. We've included either the spicy or grilled seaweed flavor variety. Okay, so this is grilled seaweed. That's kind of cool. I'm down to try it. I probably got the grilled one because on this page it shows a red packaging and a green one and I assume that the red one is spicy. I wonder if this is going to be messy. <laughs> I have a feeling. Oh yeah, I hear, I hear the crumbs down below. That's what it's looking like. I think I'm just gonna try to bite the top off over my box. Mmm. <laughs> oh, oh, I like it. Mmm, it has such a good flavor. Oh my gosh. For some reason, it tastes kind of fishy almost. I don't know if I'm going crazy or not, but it tastes really good. It has some saltiness and some sweetness to it. And then it's just, I don't know, it, it's really good. I feel like it's not something a lot of people <laughs> are like willing to kind of get out of their comfort zone and try, but it's good. If you're weird about textures, then it might bother you, but I'm not really. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Next thing. Ooh, let's do some chocolates. Lush chocolates. It only takes one bite to flood your mouth with flavor. These luscious taffy-like candies are quite literally bursting with a chocolatey drizzle. So taffy-like chocolates with chocolate drizzle inside. Yes, please. It looks like it's a package and then inside they're individually wrapped. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. 
So that's a little package. They kind of remind me of Tootsie Rolls right now. Mm, smells good. I guess it's supposed to have stuff inside. Kind of, it kind of does. It's just a bit softer chocolate inside. 100% reminds me of a Tootsie Roll. It's very, very similar, the chewiness of it. Like it's taken me a while to eat, but it's cool that the inside has kind of like a softer chocolate. What next? Let's try these things. <laughs> what are these? Where are they at? Do not tell me <laughs> they gave me another thing not on the list. I mean like, I'd be cool with it, but did this really happen again? I don't see this on here. So I think I need to go and check my subscription to see if I am buying a bigger one, but otherwise I'd be getting a drink. So I am very confused. It looks like there might be at least two or three things in here that aren't on this list. I guess we'll find out further. Um, I am super okay with them giving me extra stuff, <laughs> but like, what, why? <laughs> this says peanuts coconut cream flavor coated. I can't tell the brand Coke. Coke? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, smells very peanutty. What? Interesting. Wait. Okay. So the peanuts inside, there is like a coating over it. Coconut cream flavor coated. It doesn't taste too coconutty to me. There's not much of a flavor actually. These are all right, nothing spectacular, but it's cool to try them. Next thing, this looks very interesting. Yo-Yo Cola Jelly. A refreshingly cool crisp bottle of cola in chewy gummy form. Great paired with a movie, this tasty treat surely won't last long. I'm not sure what country it was, but there was a cola hard candy that I tried and it was pretty good. And I really do like gummies, so I'm excited. Oh my gosh, it's super squishy. Like even squishier than normal gummies, I think. Ooh, okay. Mmm, oh my, it smells so good. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> I could eat so many of these. They taste like any like cola candy, the same flavor, but in gummy form. Oh, kind of, you know, they actually do have cola gummy bottles, don't they? At like candy shops and stuff. I think they taste pretty similar to these. This is super cute, the packaging. I wanna try this. Cougar yogurt candy. We don't always eat chewy candy for breakfast, but when we do, you can bet it's bursting with creamy yogurty goodness. So is this candy or supposed to be a breakfast thing? <laughs> Either way, the packaging I probably just showed you uh, in the video, it is so, so cute. I'm trying not to destroy the packaging. So again, individually wrapped things inside. And I still, I don't really understand what this is. Is it just like a, a block of yogurt stuff? I don't know. Very taffy-like. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> You guys are gonna laugh when I describe the taste of this in a minute. I'm experiencing different flavors. This is weird. It got a lot better towards the end, but at first it kind of tasted like chapstick. <laughs> but specifically when I was a kid, all those flavored chapsticks from, was the brand like Smackers? <laughs> is that right? Why does that sound so not right? Lip Smacker, okay. Not just smacker, <laughs> lip smacker. And they had all the different flavors. You know, you, you get chapstick on your lip and sometimes it gets in your mouth. It is what it is. And it tasted like if I got some of that chapstick in my mouth. I don't know what flavor exactly, but at first that's, that's what I was tasting. <laughs> and then as it went on, it got more fruity and creamy. I don't know. I. It's super hard to explain these. I like them enough to eat the rest. I'm not like over the moon, like, ooh, these are amazing, but they're good and they're different. It's something I haven't ever tried before. I feel like I'm always so positive about stuff, <laughs> but it's really so hard for me to just outright not like a candy, a chocolate or chips, like snack food stuff. It's, it's very difficult. 
for me to not like it. United Almond Two Tone. Get the best of both worlds, Hannah Montana, with this candy bar. <laughs> Enjoy whole roasted almonds smothered with a chocolate and strawberry coating. It looks really cool on the picture because there's like two that are chocolate and two that are strawberry. It looks like it'd be a lot thicker in the box, but it's actually very thin. That's really cute. It has the little almond inside. Well, I need to try both. I need to try the, the strawberry and the chocolate. There we go. Okay, that one was broken off already. That looks so cool the way they connect. We'll try chocolate first. Mm, that was pretty good. Strawberry one. Mmm. Those are both really good. I can't choose which one I like better. I love the smell of the strawberry chocolate. I think it's kind of like a nostalgia thing though because I smell it and it reminds me of strawberry milk. <laughs> Even though I didn't really like strawberry milk. I don't know, the smell of it just reminds me of when I was little. I wanna try these things. Sun snack dunk. <laughs> Savory roasted sunflower seeds coated in a rich, delicious, and yet unusual combination of sweet corn and cheese flavoring. Okay. I mean, I I'll keep an open mind. I try weird food combos all the time on my TikTok, so I can keep an open mind with some weird combinations. Got a handful here. Just put a couple in my mouth. Ooh. Mmm. I don't actually taste the cheese that much. I definitely taste the corn and it tastes so good. I think the cheese taste is pretty subtle. The corn taste is a bit more in your face, but this is so freaking good. Now these look like Oreos and the last country I just did, which was Ukraine, they had some cookies that looked like Oreos. So just compare them all. And you know what? I don't see them on here. Oh wait, I forgot that sometimes they have stuff on the bottom. So of the bottom of the box here, sometimes there's pictures of treats and they have these on here. Bun O Vanilla Cookies. Chocolate sandwich cookies filled with vanilla flavored cream. And there's also a bunch of other flavors that it's showing. Pictures on the back of this here. So yeah, probably very similar to an Oreo. And I love me some Oreos. That's what they look like. If I'm comparing them to an Oreo, they have a lot less filling. And the cookie is not as sticky as an Oreo. That sounds very weird, but it's a lot more crumbly, the cookie part. I think they're good. I mean, how can you go wrong with just like cookie and cream vanilla stuff inside? You can't. Next thing, a uh, dynamite candy. A tasty surprise prepared to blow you away. This mint flavored hard candy is exploding with a creamy and chocolatey filling. Whoa, I am a fan of mint chocolate stuff. Oh my gosh, this packaging. They have such cute packaging on some of these things. These ones are very small, just like those Tootsie Roll like chocolates. I forget what they were called. Lush, the Lush, yeah. It's like a hard, out, outer surface. Hopefully it's creamy inside. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It tastes just like a peppermint. And there's gonna be chocolate inside. This is so cool. Should I bite it? Or should I be good and just like not? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bite it. Mmm. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. This candy is right up my alley. Love me some mint chocolate chip ice cream. During the holidays, I love getting the Andy's mints, chocolates, and these are along the same lines. They taste very similar, mint chocolate, and they're so cool. Okay, these chips have been sitting here because I've been kind of pushing them off just because I'm excited to try them and I want them to last. I don't know. Lay's Shrimp and Seafood. These crispy, crunchy potato chips pair the distinct flavor of freshly grilled prawns with Thailand's signature seafood chili sauce. Oh, this sounds so good. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, the smell. It smells two in one. <laughs> I smell the seafood and the like chili sauce. Oh my gosh. So there's two colors of chips in here. I'm gonna make sure I get both and then I'll try them individually.
Mmm. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, I wonder if they could get these separately. Like they probably have just this flavor and just this flavor by itself, right? Oh my gosh, this is so freaking good. I wanna try them by themselves. So this one is the chili flavor. Sweet chili sauce, yeah. Mm. Oh, mm, I, I love a little spice, you know, when a little spice hits the throat, I'm like, yes. Now the grilled ponds. Very seafoody, fishy tasting. If you hate that, you would probably hate them. <laughs> but I like seafood and these chips together are so, so good. I'm gonna rave about these to everyone. Oh my gosh. Now let's try this. This is Bang Bang White. Crispy wafers sandwiched with a coconut cream and coated with rich white chocolate make this snack a true tropical treat. All that sounds amazing and it's funny because i don't know how many countries now have had at least one wafer snack but almost all of them do and i wasn't even thinking about it until i read <laughs> that this was a wafer like duh there has to be one wafer <laughs> but this might be the best wafer i've ever had i love me some coconut also maybe the messiest one <laughs> mm. Oh, that's very very good it's actually not as sweet as you think it might be because hearing white chocolate and coconut that sounds scary but this is like the perfect amount of sweetness without it being like overbearing where it's gonna feel like your teeth are gonna fall out <laughs> for sure one of the best wafers that i have had how about these tiny candy things i have how many are in here there's like there's seven in here but guess what <laughs> they're not on this list oh but they're on here so it says Amira Tamarind, Tamarind Candy. And I guess that's all the description I'm gonna get. I have no idea. Maybe I should just look this up. It's a type of sweet that is produced from the fruit of the tamarind tree, which usually grows in the tropical areas such as Africa, India, and some parts of Asia. Okay, it's got a tan color to it. Hmm, that's not too bad. Now, how to describe this? <laughs> It's sweet, but there's a tiny bit of like tartiness to it, or maybe like a citrusy feel. I don't know. Ooh, wait. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the fruit. It Now it's starting to taste like a certain fruit and I can't think of the name. Apricot, an apricot. I think it kind of tastes like an apricot. Apricot, apricot however you want to say that. It kind of tastes like that. Just a couple things left. The third to last is Mentos Soda Mix. The chewy, usually minty candies you love with a sweet and bubbly soda surprise. Pop the top on this treat and we guarantee you won't stop. I don't know if I've ever actually really eaten Mentos just to eat them as a candy. All I know is people put them in sodas to like explode. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna guess what type of sodas we're gonna be tasting today. Since it is not in English, it looks like there's grape, lemon, strawberry. I would say lime, but it kind of looks like a cantaloupe. <laughs> so I don't know what the last one is. This one must be grape. That one was good. Next one, lemon. Very, very surprisingly, I think I like that one better than the grape. And I'm not normally a lemon fan, but that tasted real good. Strawberry. Mmm. That one might be my favorite. Yeah, I like the strawberry a lot. Okay. <clears throat> In all honesty, I just swallowed some of that because it's taking forever <laughs> to chew. But I'm good, didn't choke. Okay, lime, maybe, or cantaloupe, I don't know. But like cantaloupe soda, that doesn't sound right. It tastes a lot more melony than limey. So I think that is some type of melon. So out of all of them, pretty sure the strawberry one's my favorite. For these last two items, they are glyco, glico? pretz sticks yummy pretzel sticks that pack an ultra satisfying crunch try either the larb tom yum or buttered corn flavors again i don't know if they did this on purpose but i got two flavors 
One of them is corn and the other is larb, which I did look up and it says it's like a meat salad. And it looks like there's some like chili peppers here in the picture, so I hope it's spicy. <laughs> I have actually had this brand in a snack crate before. I'm pretty sure it was from Japan and they were like tomato flavored sticks. So I'm excited to try new ones. Let's go with the corn ones first. Mm, oh my gosh. They smell just like those other corn treats. Mmm. Oh yes, oh my gosh. These are so good. They taste exactly like buttered corn would. Now let's try the larb flavor. Mmm. Doesn't have too strong of a smell. Mmm. Teeny tiny bit spicy. Huh. Those are good. They taste kind of smoky almost. A uh, little spicy. I don't know what other flavors are coming to my taste buds, but this is really good. I wonder what the actual dish is like. So that is everything. I have tried everything, even the extra little things that I got. I don't know how, but thanks, Snack Crate. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to remember what other countries' boxes tasted like and compare like, oh, which box did I really like better than the other? But I do know one of my favorites of all time was Japan. And I gotta say, this is probably in second place because I loved so many things in this box. It was very, very good. And I think I should go to Thailand. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this box. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. All of my social media accounts will be at the beginning of this video or in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.